I landed at fencing fields 100 times and finally figured out the ins and outs of how to dominate this POI every single time. I'm going to show you the best spots to land, the places to avoid, and the things you need to have with you to make sure that you win the game. First, let's talk about where you should never be landing. Never land at the blue houses off rip because this is where the bots spawn and I'm telling you they all have aim by you especially don't want to be there without a gun. Now when it comes to places where you should be landing at, you got three options. Now for option number one, there's the right side of the fields where there's usually floor loot that you can pick up to Elim, one of the grunts here that usually holds a shotgun or an AR. And then you head over to the shed that holds five barrels. And then most of the time there's the chest spawn and the roof too. After that, head back into the basement. But keep in mind that this drop option is for the people who want constant off spawn action. So be ready for that. And now when you get to the basement, there's three possible chest spawns. There's one here, over here, and then over here too. Now for drop number two, you're landing at the left side of fencing and you're aiming for the shed here that has the five barrels. And always look around for floor loot and especially in this wagon here. After hitting the barrels, run over to the lake and then break the slurp truck to top off the 200 and then head over to the other side of the lake and you'll see a shed there with floor loot most of the time and also if you're lucky a chest spawn in the roof now for the third drop it's the house on the northeast side of fencing and while you're still in the air always be on the lookout for floor loot around the house as soon as you get in run to the kitchen and break the floor to get the shield barrels and most of the time you'll find a chest spawn there too and then run to the other side of the house for the chest that's on the cabinet and then open this room door for the last chest that's on the bed after that walk out the same door that i came in from and then Yo, who's the guy who let this get past inspection, hmm? And outside of this building, there will be two more barrels just in case you need it. And then run over to the lake and then on the right side, go through these fences, you'll find five slab juice barrels. And then as you keep going, you'll find a cooler here for some extra shield. And then there's a chest spawn in the building here and another cooler next to the boat and usually a chest spawn out here too. And at this point, there'll be about 60 to 70 people left in the game, but you'll have everything that you need to take over fencing and make it out with a medallion. Now, this was for part one. I'll be explaining how to make it out of fencing in part two. I'm gonna see you then.